Start your engines! As the field rolls off, over 100,000 fans are on their feet, ready for 208 laps of IndyCar racing under the lights. Harry Leyendijk indeed has gotten around Billy Boat as well as the number three car of Buell, so he picked up two spots in that lap, and he's trying to close in now on your leader as they roll into turn one. Last year's winner, Ari Leyendijk and Billy Boat battle side by side down the back stretch. Billy Boat down low. Takes the lead a couple of years ago when 11 straight USAC Western States midget events in a row to set a modern day record. And he has the lead here at Texas Motor Speedway. 22 laps are now complete. Tony Stewart pitted for fuel under the last yellow, making him the last on the restart. The driver on the move is young Tony Stewart, the 27 year old from Rushville, Indiana. Went to the back of the pack after making a pit stop to top off the fuel. And right now, Stewart is up to sixth, makes that fifth position. When the race goes green on lap 82, it's Billy Boat back on top with Pennzoil Panther Racing Scott Goodyear right behind him. Scott Goodyear is now your leader. He has gotten around Billy Boat. And they're having trouble now getting by that number 52 of Robbie Unser. The battle is up in front. Looks like Billy Boat's got him down as he comes down low. Boat's got him. But Kenny Brick now challenging. Kenny Brick in the 14 power team car. Goodyear goes high. Boat is now your leader, but Brick has taken over second position. It's been about three laps now that Scott Sharp and Ari Leyendijk have gone side by side through the 24 degree banking. They are still side by side, and both has nowhere to go. Boat looks again down low. Again, there's three wide. Is he going to hang on this time? He does. He goes flying. Both of them. Billy Boat is on a rail down low. Oh, wait a minute. He's taking a move on the high side. They went by a slower car. Billy Boat had to check up a bit on the low side, and Stewart went scoot on the high side. On lap 141, Boat catches Stewart on the front stretch, and A.J. Ford's driver is on top for the fifth time tonight. Tony Stewart, Stewart on the high side, Boat on the low side, and the number 11 car, no way, Tony slams the door on him, the Boat dives down low in the turn number three, they go side by side, and your new leader, the number 11 machine of Billy Boat. And look at this, Tony Stewart makes a move on the inside, goes by Billy Boat, Billy Boat is still not up to racing speed. Boat nabs Stewart a few laps later in turn two. Three laps later, Stewart returns the favor. Tony Stewart has the lead across the start finish line. Billy Boat ducks to the inside, going into turn one. Boat wants the lead back, and he may have it in turn one. He does. Lap 168, and the leaders pit for the final time this evening. For Tony Stewart and Team Menard, another bubble is about to burst. Stuff coming out the back. It's up. The yellow's up. The yellow is you. And look at this, the two Foyt cars battling for the lead side by side in turn two. AJ's got to have his eyes closed as both his cars are side by side. And now Greg Ray makes it three wide into turn number three. Look at this, in traffic, Greg Ray, they're going to make a sandwich out of Marco Greco. And Greg Ray almost gets together with the leader. Greg Ray a little higher this time. Last Woo! lap. In the grass, Greg Ray in the grass. Off the fourth corner, there's the dual checkered flags. Billy Bo takes the victory. And you realize the podium finish at Texas was the same as the front row at Indianapolis. Billy Boat, Greg Ray, and Kenny Breck. And do you realize, I'm scared watching Greg Ray, and I'm only watching a videotape. This guy on the grass, he is fearless. And he will have a new ride for 99. We'll talk about that later in the program. Coming up next, we travel off to Loudoun in New Hampshire.